Hi class, welcome to the first lecture video of this course, Fundamentals of Agricultural Engineering. And I will be your lecturer of the first chapter entitled Introduction to Agricultural Engineering. This is me, your uh, teacher engineer, Sumaria. And after this uh, topic, it is expected that you will understand agricultural engineering as a profession and as a discipline. Second, you will recognize the role of agricultural engineers. So, what is agricultural engineering? So, from the definition of CHED Memo Order Number 37, Series of 2007, it states that this is a discipline that involves the application of engineering principles on the production, processing, handling, and storage of food, fiber, and materials of biological origin. Also, uh, from the definition of the Republic Act 8559, which was released last 1998, it states or it defined as a profession requiring the application of the fundamental and known principles of engineering to the peculiar, peculiar condition and requirements of agriculture as an industry and as a field of science. So, agricultural engineering, no? So, it is uh, actually a combination of two equally broad disciplines, the agriculture and engineering. So, when we say agriculture, it is the art and science of farming, including the cultivation of soil for the growing of crops and the rearing of animals in order to provide food, feed, fiber, and other products. And then when we say engineering, it is the art and sciences and science of making practical application of the knowledge from pure sciences and mathematics in order to design uh, building and uh, use of engines, machines, and structures. So, technically, agricultural engineering involves the application of engineering principles to the agriculture. So, uh, by the way, uh, la, uh, last 1998, uh, it is called as agricultural engineering. Pero ngayon, may bago ng pangalan, no? hindi na agricultural engineering. So, uh, we are now agricultural and biosystems engineering. No? So, what is uh, agricultural and biosystems engineering? No, so ang agricultural and biosystems engineering ito ay ano mas pinalakas at mas pinalawak na uh, aspect of being an agricultural engineer, no? So from the definition from the Republic Act 10915 or the Philippine Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Act of 2016, it states that agricultural and biosystems engineering is the application of engineering science and designs to the processes and systems involved in the sustainable production, post-production or post-harvest, and processing of safe food, feed, fiber, timber, and other agricultural and biological materials. So, what are those biological materials? So, when we say biological materials, uh, ito yung mga crops, no? Crops, uh, forest products, at iba pang uh, halaman, no? Kasama din dito ang poultry, uh, 
livestock, fisheries, and aquaculture resources, at ganun din ang wildlife and other living things. No? And then also, the continuation, it is also for the efficient utilization, conservation, and man management of natural and renewable resources in order to enhance the human health and harmony with the environment. So, what does an AA or AB do? So, we have a field of specialization, no? Or, of, uh, in this profession, no? So, the, there are a uh, field of specialization, no? So, we have uh, first machinery and power engineering. So, in this uh, field of specialization, we can study the different source of power and energy for agricultural operations. No? So, from human power to animal power down to the uh, mechanical power, uh, renewable uh, and non-renewable resources. No? So, also in this uh, field of specialization, we can study the different levels of mechanization such as uh, from uh, the simplest uh, level no the hand tool technology or the use of tools powered by a human muscle and then we can also study animal drought technology or utilizing the animal muscle as the power source and then also the mechanical power no so mechanical power or the use of agricultural machinery powered by mechanical no from that uh, from the word mechanical no so with this we can reduce human effort improve the quality of the product increase the yield and the overall efficiency so that's for the first specialization the machinery and power engineering we also have a uh, structure and environment engineering so in this field of specialization we can design a uh, structures that we can see in the farms like greenhouse uh, storage of farm products animal houses like uh, poultry house swine house and etc no so ito yung pagdi-design ng structures na kayang sumabay ng mga challenges especially sa aspeto ng ating environment. So, uh, for the environmental engineering part, ito yung pagde-develop ng biogas generation system, waste disposal system for for the conservation of environment from the farm operations, no? So that that is for the second specialization and we also have land and water resources engineering or what we call as soil and water conservation engineering so ito yung tumutukoy ng iba't ibang paraan on how to conserve the soil and water sa pagtatanim so example nito ay ang mga technologies na na develop na long time ago so ito yung eh, mulching no so cover crop and designing of terraces for the soil and water conservation and then also uh, part din dito sa uh, specialization na ito ay yung irrigation and drainage engineering so when we say irrigation it is the application of water to the soil in order to provide enough water for the plant growth and productivity. And when we say drainage, so ito yung pagkontrol sa pagbara ng tubig in order to prevent the soil salinization. So yun yung mga uh, uh, role no, of being uh, AB in land and water resources engineering. And then lastly, we have process engineering. So in, in this specialization, uh, this is the study of processes. No? From the terms process, from the term process, 
It is the study of processes and machines that will required in order to convert the agricultural raw materials into a finished consumer goods, no? Kasama na din dito ang post-harvest operations and processes which takes after harvesting, no? For example, the transportation side, handling, storage of the product, the processing down to the packaging of the product. So, ito yung mga uh, field of uh, specialization of AE or isang abe. So, again, no? So, dito, sinamarize na lang yung mga uh, ano, rule, no? Rule of being an abe, machine, abe in machinery and power engineering, no? So, operates, test, and evaluate machineries and equipment, design and evaluate machine components, estimate power available from renewable energy sources and design a renewable energy systems. Next is uh, this is for the structure and environmental engineering. No, again, uh, we can design structures and env environmental control systems uh, from designing down to the material estimates, specifications, uh, cost analysis to building plans for plans for permit application, and we also can design residential electrical systems and lastly design a waste processes and systems and then for the land and water again uh, operate weather instruments second design and evaluate irrigation and drainage systems third design structures for soil and water conservation for fourth evaluate land and water conservation systems and lastly design aquaculture system so lahat ng ito ay uh, yung mga fundamentals for this uh, specializations will uh, you will learn this no it, sa later part ng ating uh, video no so this is just an introduction. This is just an overview of what is agricultural and biosystems engineering. What are the fields of specialization of being an abe? abe. So uh, the later part will be the discussion of this uh, specialization. And then lastly, we have process engineering. So first, operate uh, processing equipment, design a uh, component of a so cold storage systems third develop a proper combination of unit operations for a specific specific product and lastly design a processing plant so that's all for the uh, brief no that's a brief uh, introduction of, of the fundamentals of agricultural engineering and for the next meeting uh, your topic will be agricultural mechanization and your lecturer is none other than Dr. Feliciano G. Sinon. Thank you for listening and uh, I hope you learned something and God bless you all.